Hello everyone, and welcome to Quick Tip Tuesdays. My name is Carl, and in this series I'll give you some useful tips for Blender, Unreal Engine and more. In today's video we'll be looking at Pi menus in Blender. I'll show you how to use them and how to enable some extra features that can save you a lot of time. Cool, so let's take a look. The first one I'm going to show you is the Shading Pi menu. You can access that by holding down Z on your keyboard and then moving your mouse to select any of these shading modes. You don't even have to click on them, you can just move over them and you see they get selected. And as soon as I let go of Z, that option will be selected. So let's switch back to Solid View. And these settings are available at the top right over here as well. So we can switch between those using these buttons. But the cool thing about using the Pi menu instead is it pops up wherever your mouse is. So you don't have to shift your focus to these buttons. You can simply, while you're working, hold down Z and then quickly switch between these modes. Now let me show you how to add some extra options to this specific Pi menu. If we click on Edit, go to Preferences, click on Key Map, and then select Extra Shading Pi Menu Items. It closes down. If you hold on Z now, you can see we have toggle overlays and toggle x-ray added to this menu as well. So let's zoom in a bit, pan around. And let's say we have a bunch of lights that are getting in the way. We can disable those overlays, which includes the lights, the grid and everything like that by simply holding on Z, moving your mouse up and letting go of Z. Now we can see only the geometry of our scene. Let's turn that back on. Let's press tab to go into edit mode and there's a button at the top here that toggles x-ray mode on and off and that's useful to see the vertices behind the geometry and being able to select that from the pie menu makes it a lot easier to quickly make selections while you're working on a specific object cool the next one i'm going to show you is the interaction mode pie menu and you can access that by holding control and tab and it'll pop up and now you can select object mode or edit mode or even sculpt mode so this way you can quickly switch between sculpting, back to object mode, back to edit mode, make some changes. And you even have access to white paint, vertex paint and texture painting as well. Another very useful pie menu is the pivot pie menu. So let's say we move this object to the right. And now if we rotate it, by default it rotates around its own center point. Let's make a copy of that. Now if we select both of them, press R to rotate. Now they rotate around the center point between the objects. Cool, so with the Pivot Pi menu, we can hold down full stop or period on your keyboard and that'll pop up. A useful one is the 3D cursor and that'll change the location where your pivot point is for a specific object. So you can see our center of the object is still in the center, but if you rotate now, it rotates around the 3D cursor. And if you rotate this one, it rotates around the 3D cursor as well. Let's hold down full stop again and go to Individual Origins. That's another useful one. Now if we have two objects or multiple objects selected, if we rotate them now, they no longer rotate around the center point between the objects and each object now rotates around its own center point. Let's just switch it back to median point, that is Blender's default pivot mode. Cool, and the last one I want to show you is the Snap Pie menu. To access that you can hold down Shift S. And here we have a whole bunch of options. Some useful ones are Cursor to Selection and Selection to Cursor. Let me show you how those work quickly. So let's select one of our cubes. And you can see our 3D cursor is currently at the center of our scene. Now we press Shift S and move down to Cursor to select it and then release the shortcut. You can see the 3D cursor now jumped to the location of our cube. And that means if we add a new object, it'll be added in the exact location of our cube. Let's just switch to wireframe mode. And this way you can easily create new objects at the exact location of another object. You can also move an existing object in this way Let's select this cube, hold on Shift S. Now we're going to say Cursor to Selection. Now the cursor jumps over there. Now let's select our sphere, hold on Shift S and select Selection to Cursor. There we go. And as you can see, this can save you a lot of time in the long run. There are more pie menus for you to find, but these are the ones and the features that I use the most. Awesome. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found some useful information in this video. If you liked the video, please click like. And if you didn't like it or didn't find anything useful, you can dislike it as well without feeling bad as it helps me choose the best topics for future videos. Please let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions that can help me improve or post a question and I'll do my best to help you out. Cool. Until next time, stay curious, stay positive and have an awesome day.